Peace to him. Phil Jackson. So I get over there, I get with Phil. I get there and I'm just going with the flow and, you know, and, you know, Phil is Phil. He has a style and, you know, cool, laid back, whatever. Um, I think I start and then I'm coming off the bench and then, then eventually I'm getting decent minutes and eventually my minutes are declining. Uh, and I'm like, wow, you know what I mean? I'm like, what did I do? I should have went to Miami. You know, I'm like, this is the worst decision ever. You know what I mean? But we're winning, and I'm not an unhappy camper, like a, you know, not at all. I'm going with the flow. You know what I mean? I'm here, it's lights, camera, action. Right. Wish I had more time, but um, but it is what it is. You know what I mean? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make the best of best of it. Um, then during the season, he's just talking. Da, 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 da. And one day he says, uh, yeah, you guys have a good day. Uh, hopefully we don't see JR. Uh, no, hopefully I don't hear about JR being over on Crenshaw. I said, what'd you say? He shot that? He shot Like out of a meeting? The whole team. Trying to be funny, ha, ha, ha? Yeah. He shot that. I said, what'd you say? And people giggling. I said, I don't think none of that's funny. I said, I don't have a problem getting my hair cut, getting Earl's dog, or getting my hair cut on Crenshaw, or, or, and then sliding out. I said, I, but nobody in their right mind just hangs out on Crenshaw, brother. I, I said, brother, you know what I mean? And, and I don't have a problem being around my people and my folks and spending money in the neighborhood or the ghetto at barbecue joints, fish joints, or whatever. So I don't really, like, where's that? Mm -hmm. Oh, no big deal, da da da. And that's cool. But from that moment, I always looked at him different. Oh, just wow. like you did LeBron with that posse stuff and that. Just certain mm -hmm. stuff people say I pay attention to. Uh, what you really trying to say? What you saying? You're trying to come saying. cool, zen, you lay back, you're passing out books, you, we're doing yoga, you're on some cool stuff, you cross your legs, you're trying to be this cerebral intelligent dude, which you probably are. But he seemed like an old head that took shots to me. Mm -hmm. And was on some other stuff mm. and too big for his britches out there. Mm. You know, on the bench, you know, on the beaches with old girl, the owner. And I felt he was just too, Don't right? Try. Don't try. And I felt I put in too much work for you to have me in a funky situation. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, even the year before I'm in Atlanta, I was top 10 in scoring for a minute. Mm. And then even when it went all funny, I'm still averaging like 19, 20. Mm. Right, so I'm here for a reason. And that same season, we beat them once. I give Cole some of that work. You know what I mean? I'm here for a reason, bro. Facts. You know what I guess you you see me against Mike. Facts. That part. Mike averaged 30 in six games. I averaged 24. Facts. Head to head. He get 10 more shots a game. You know what I do. Why are you doing me like this? In my own head. So you know, the Laker fans, Ryder, Ryder, they want me in the game. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be the best professional I can. I'm just, you know, I'm trying to do what I can. I'm not disgruntled, but I'm a little puzzled. Like, what's going on? You know what I mean? So I get left off the roster at the end of the, going into playoffs. He leaves the roster. He lives, like, whoever, uh, go read the, uh, the wall, the roster for the playoffs on the wall. I go to the wall. I don't see my name. I said, my eyes must be playing tricks on me. I don't see my name. I spin off. I'm looking mad, Shaq, like, what's up? I'm like, man, I ain't, your boy done left me off the rock. Me and, now, mind you, me and Phil never had no argument. It was no public, no nothing in the paper. We never had no stuff. But you felt it. You mean? You felt it? No, I mean, it was, I felt it was a disconnect, you know, somewhere during the season where, mm. put it like, I, then I internalized it. They've won the year before. They have their squad. I'm just, I'm another guy. Facts. You know what I mean? And, and that's how he's comfortable with, with who he's comfortable with. Right. He had the form. B. Shaw, Harp, and they had good, they played well. They were playing well. Facts. You know what I mean? And, he's, and, and so I, I internalized it and said, let me do the best I can handle as a professional. But anyway, he left me off the roster, and, I, and Shaq was like, what's up with that, bro? I'm like, man, I don't know, man. Um, he was like, what do you mean you're not on the roster? He's like, Phil. Phil just kind of kept on moving, and uh, I went to practice, and I was like, wow. 
you know, and uh, I went through the motion and they won it. I got a ring. I was nice. a part. I played regular season, but didn't play in the playoffs. Nice. So yeah. that was that was pretty tough, you know. Um, that was another time I kind of they won it in Philly, and uh, I kind of went to a back room. We was cheering, champagne, all of that, and I had to slide and go to a back room and pray on it and kind of like, man, I don't know, you know what I mean? Just mm. get away. So I seen Phil and the coaching staff. They smoke cigars, and doing their thing, and I go to a little private area and have my little moment. Then uh, snap out of it and, and, and join the crew. Right. That was my championship, you know what I mean? But, you know, things happen for a reason. But, um, yeah, that's how that went. That, that, that one was tough, 